Mass intention is for Dr. Mark and Rita Baruch. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. So let Christ come and find us ready 
that is the mission that we have. So that name is important. If somebody say we are going to be called Muslims, we are going to say no, our name is Christian. So that is the meaning of what we have heard. It's going to be Zachariah, they said no, his name is John. So all of us, we do not have any other name but being called Christian. And let us prepare in the couple of days for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, that this birth may transform our lives and bring meaningfulness of life to all of us. My dear sisters and brothers, the hand of the Lord which was upon John the Baptist continues to guide and protect God's people. To God we present our prayers and petitions. That parents awaiting the birth of a child may rejoice in the gift of God has given to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That we may be filled with awe and rejoice in the gift of every new life. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That those who proclaim the message of God like all of us in the church and in the world today, may be courageous in witnessing to the truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the hearts of parents may be turned toward their children with love and wisdom, and that the hearts of children may be turned toward their parents in affection and respect, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May love break down all barriers between people this Christmas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we prepare for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for our brothers and sisters in our parish, especially those who are struggling so much with the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal King, help us to always walk in your truth so that we can reflect in our lives your faithfulness and love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be our Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept Christ to your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation by which divine worship in his fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer who is and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and ever, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all telling, 
John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the midst of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with angel and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are claimed. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Until you come, until you come, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle and Glorious Martyrs, and all the saints, who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and members and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours. For a bond Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. At 
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and the gracious will grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
always we have to cry out that song to be a Christian in our hearts. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And go forth in the peace and love of Christ the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.